martial arts, a $7 billion business. Here to share the details on how is Jesse Nunez, creator of the Elite Amateur Fight League. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So you it. were starting out the league when, yeah. uh, when we last chatted. Remind people what it's all about. Sure, the Elite Amateur Fight League is basically the NCAA version of mixed martial arts. The best amateurs from across the country in a head-to-head -head team versus team tournament. Breaking news, the first death from coronavirus here in the United States. The sports world rocked by the coronavirus, the NCAA canceling mm. the March Madness tournament. This time, every sport, every athletic escape and rallying point is being yes, halted. I mean, we all know the bad stuff that happened with COVID, right? I mean, the, the immediate effects sucked. It canceled our events. Uh, we didn't have any live events, but we were able to pull back a little bit and concentrate on building the business. Right, had we rolled right into season four, we would have been building teams and moving forward with events and not have a whole lot of time to do some of the things we know we needed to do. Get, uh, you know, OTT broadcast opportunities, uh, grow our fan base, uh, you know, meet and grow the business, meet the right people and grow our business. And because of COVID, we've had all those opportunities. We've met with everybody from ESPN to NBC to, to Sinclair Broadcasting, all the OTT channels, you know, your, your Fubo TV, your Clash TV. Like we have a great plan on how to get our content out there now that we probably wouldn't have spent as much time on as we did during COVID. So I'm just really excited about getting these kids exposure. I mean, it's what we do best. We, everybody, there's a lot of promoters out there that get amateur fighters fights, but no one gives them the exposure they deserve. And that's really what we're good at. And because of COVID, now we can give them more exposure than we, than we were able to before. So the initial effects of the pandemic were negative. It canceled our events canceled our tournament for season four, but since then we've stayed really busy. We have a lot of broadcast opportunities and the appetite for live MMA is huge. So this next event, our first one back, Garrity, June 5th, Railcat Stadium. All right, let's just go over some responsibilities. It kind of went through them really quickly. We're two weeks out from fight night, you know, and so what we normally do is we have a team meeting, get everybody together, make sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, we've got some new members of the team since COVID happened. Uh, we've lost some guys that went on to do some other things and uh, you know we've got plenty of people that, that want to be involved with the Elite Amateur Fight League so uh, we got uh, some new interview talent coming in uh, we've got a new photographer uh, some social media uh, content people that will be working with us then our partners here at 2112 uh, in our media incubator and uh, as well as all our live event production staff as well as my producer so uh, we're just you know we're here to get on the same page uh, we need to make sure, uh, you know, it's a new venue, so we need to make sure we're all, uh, we all understand the lay of the land, whose responsibilities are what, how to communicate with each other, what systems will be put in place. And, you know, we're not just a, a local show where there's, you know, there's house lights on and, and fighters stroll in and, and, you know, things are unorganized. That's when people think of amateur MMA, they, they've all been to those shows where it's like if they, someone set up a cage in a gym and, uh, and two guys are just fighting and it doesn't feel like an event. Uh, we go, you know, full bore, uh, we put on a show. We have a 40 foot by 40 foot light rig, uh, professional stage cover, uh, professional play-by-play -play guys, uh, a professional production team that puts everything in place, a live event production team that makes sure the show runs like a show. So you just can't show up and do that, right? So that's why we're here today to make sure that we get all that stuff in place. So they're gonna walk out in the limited area, do their thing, they're going to come back in. This is the route to the locker room. We're going to set you up right about here, Phil, with Matt. Merch, sanctioning, and that's it. Oh, ambulance and the EMTs, doctors, <laughs> they'll be there at 3 o'clock. But that's it, guys. Any questions about what you're doing or what you need? Cool. Awesome, awesome. All right. You want to show them around? Yeah, I'll uh, show you the film stage. Yeah, that's why I thought we'd go in there. That way they, they're not rolling into each other. Now, if you're done setting up the mats, it is. If you can just get all that stuff inside that locker room, you're done. Yeah. All, all that stuff that's there. He's not here. He didn't take his blood test because I scheduled it. Did he go? No. How do you feel right now? I, I think I'll be ready to go tomorrow. How do you feel right now? Okay. Are you not fighting on track and run and try to 
what I'm asking. Like, if, yeah. you, if they say, well, I want to see him at least try to lose the weight, because like, I'm the coach that I'm going to say. What is this one? 141? Is that what you think? Yeah, yeah, 141. Let me go talk to your opponent. Mike, this is yours. These go to the dock. Those are the insurance plans. So my name is Mike Samursti. I am the Director of Regulations and Government Affairs for the Elite Amateur Fight League. It's been a year and a half, right? I mean, it, all, all things said, right? A year and a half, February 20, whatever, 2019, 2020. But this was the last show that I, I worked at, and it was just crazy to, to not have done anything since then. So it feels good to, to be at a show, to see the shows that are running, even you know, other promotions, whatever. Like, it's just good to see the, the the community coming back, you know, it's good to see some familiar faces. Have they really been the one, like, kind of like, at the tip of the spear when it comes to, like, local shows in the Midwest? 100%. That's why being from uh, the area and, and working with the various promotions and having an opportunity when Jess approached me to, to come and join the team, it's kind of a no-brainer, you know. He puts it together. It's, it's very professional. Uh, you know, I like all the production value that he puts behind it. Um, I like the, the business plan and, and trying to, you know, uh, give these guys a path to get to the big leagues, you know, and, and kind of be that, like, youth development league, right, for, for the pros. And um, it's cool, you know, it's good, because he's right, you know, it's uh, a 10-0 guy in Illinois is never going to, prior to the AFL, never would fight the 10-0 guy that's, you know, out of Arizona or California, but why can't they fight, you know, they should, absolutely, before they go pro, and, because then they can learn about a lot about themselves, because uh, it doesn't really... It's, you know, it's one of those things where amateur, amateur uh, records don't matter, you know, so to really test yourself against the best other amateurs in the, in the country, is, it's, uh, it's, I think, a valuable learning experience that these guys, that, that we provide for them. Every suite sold out from that bar right there in the middle of the dugout to that bar in the middle of the dugout, all sold. And everything else is selling already online and, and well, I'm done with my hands. Dude, usually we're here all fucking night. It's like, it's like what do you mean you don't have that? What, you didn't know it was at 6 o'clock. Mike, Mike's like, it's 6.30. You know, I, I know it. Just having the way in move this fast and having all the fighters show up with their paperwork, physicals, I mean, everything that they need to bring, they got it done. So this is, for me, in my experience of doing this, to have it, have way in, it's done this quick and everybody brings what they need to bring to the table. It's going great. Outdoor events, I'm a big fan of them. A big fan of putting cages and boxing rings on, at, on, in baseball parks. It's a different experience. Fight fans are gonna love it. Steel City. Hammond, Gary, Indiana, home of the Michael Jackson. And I cannot be excited, man. This is great, great stuff. So tomorrow is the world's in for a treat. It's gonna be great. So, so I'm I'm Rob Tovar. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm part of the uh, the organization with Jesse here at Elite Amateur Fight League. Uh, I do more handle marketing, and uh, some VP and sponsorship specials because I have a large productions uh, background. I also you know, sit around and you know, get the help with production. This one's going to be different because it's we don't need to worry about production this time. So you know, we have a whole team doing that now. So to see to see the company excel and grow to where we're at now, even after COVID, I think it's amazing. So but yeah, so I'm, one of them. I'm, a, I'm a part owner as well. And, uh, love hanging out. So apparently, our cart couldn't fit through the door. So production's out here. That's okay. It all goes down tomorrow at the steel yard. Let's go back to Indiana. Hey, Tom! Cody, what are you gonna fuck? Yo! Yo! It's the Modelo sign right here. It looks fantastic, though. Beautiful. Although. That replay screen isn't doing much help for anybody. The, uh, it's, nobody in the suites will be able to see the replay screen. They'll see that one though, so I guess we're okay. All right, so the fight day, uh, you know, normally our cage and our lights are, are up a little bit earlier than they are today. I'm, 
not that worried we're at uh 246 right the gates open at five so we have two hours to get some finishing touches down uh tables are going in tablecloths we got customized tablecloths that are covering the tables chairs uh light focusing camera tests production tests signage all that kind of stuff and look it just ripped again i've been around you know with the eafl traveled across, across the country with these guys like we've been to california um seen team alpha male team quest you know we've seen jackson wink in new mexico arizona fight ready the lab um so what i really love about this organization is just you know where do you want to go to find the best amateur fighters you want to go where the best pro fighters are you know, and you know, you're picking from them, you know, because they're learning, they're learning from all the pro fighters and stuff, and they're the new guys coming up in the ranks. And we've also seen so much talent, you know, come through, and now these guys are, you know, at the door, kind of knocking at the door to just start their, their professional careers. And, um, you know, I think a lot of it's, set, it's setting them up, setting them up for success, you know, for uh, sure. at that pro career. Me, 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 me in the locker room, I'll, I'll explain everything. <laughs> That's why people don't like, like, there's not a million promoters. Fucking promoting it easy. The DJ is my lifelong childhood friend. Mm -hmm. Lives on the backside of our block. Became a big DJ, so perfect guy. He, he likes fighting like me. And, uh, and he's a military vet, so it works perfect. Perfect addition to the team. Everybody wants to be a Marine. <laughs> not everybody can be a Marine. Hey, but not, <laughs> but not everybody can be an Army man either. Councilman White from the 6th District. Hey man, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Great venue. Glad you picked this. You hold us the perfect weather too. Yeah, I got lucky. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you guys fucking crazy. Well, no. Sold it out. Yes. Shit, dude. Yes. You guys are, it's looking fucking awesome. That's what? What? The whole the league wants us to do one of these at our stadium. Oh, for sure. Do that yes. baseball stadium. It makes total sense. Yeah. never got his table and I got ice on his table coming. We're all sit here. We're they, good. They're finally good now. Okay. Uh, the state has some more players. Uh, they one and how they want to finish that. Other than that, we're good. Great Raj! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the
to make this happen, man. This is not easy to do. We put on a show. This kind of show doesn't happen in the fucking amateur fighting. You know, I'm an amateur MMA. This was awesome. Thank you, everybody, for everything you did. Thank you for having us. Stop the riot. All right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you probably will. Yeah, you did a really good job. All right, now let's clean this fucker up. <laughs>